grow up, I used to have a form of tonsils. <laughs> they grow up, become like this. So, but it will be fine. But the issue of the car is important. Otherwise, you must get killed this lady in a, in a taxi. The one of the child is just a small thing. Yeah. The child will be fine. I'm praying for you. The child will come out. Uh, when they never told you when the child will come out? No, they will. So they said, so the problem of temperature it was just going up and down. So they said, the only way that they can discharge him is when the temperature is still. Jesus! Hey! You must leave the child now. to kill them. No go to them in Africa.
Good day, brethren. My name is Despina Bonge, and I come from Midrand. I came here because I was seeking the opinion of God and the guidance of God regarding my child who is in hospital. My child has been um, hospitalized since Tuesday because of multiple ailments, which um, they were getting worse. So I was getting worried, and prior to that, actually, I had dreamt of him being sick. So I realized that it's not just a just a treatment that is needed for the for the sickness that he he has. But I realized that also he needed um, spiritual, you know, healing as well. So during our one on one with Prophet, um, he mentioned that um, well, he was actually laughing that now that you have a job. What is it that she wants now? So uh, I actually laughed as well. But uh, he mentioned that there is grace that um, God uh, can give me in terms of my job, promotion at job in, in my job, so that I can have a car because that's the most uh, important thing right now, that I need a car. So um, I'm working in Mukopane, so I travel every weekend or every other weekend coming back home. So it's difficult because I use um, public transport. So it's a very difficult thing to do. So I was actually indeed worried about it. So he mentioned that I was worried about it and I can indeed confirm that yes, that was one of the things that I was worried about. So regarding the job, um, actually when he was laughing that uh, now that you have a job, it was because um, middle last year, 2021, 2022, sorry, um, he gave me a prophecy that I was looking for a job and uh, indeed at the time I was looking for a job because I, I had not been working for quite some time and the business that I was doing, I uh, was moving at a very slow pace. So um, he mentioned that I was going to get a job although it was difficult and indeed I can confirm that now I'm working I have a job and I'm happy at my job. So I thank God. Right. Um, okay, so he also, he was stressing the issue of the, um, the car because he's saying that devil was trying to use that to bring an attack to my family in the sense that he wanted me to have a, an accident through the Texas. So he was, devil was planning to kill me through taxi accident. So he's saying that it's very important that um, we get a car. And he was actually asking me, when do I need a car? And I said, like, now. <laughs> then he said I should get it. By next week, I should have the car. And I, I'm excited about it because I've been try not getting, you know, uh, to different sites to, to look for the car. I feel really, I feel really good, and I thank God. Um, it's always good to come to to hear the mind of God, because um, then you know that what you are doing, the decision you are making, they are supported by God, and they are bound to be a success. So I'm really happy about it. So I'd really like to encourage the viewers to come seek the face of God uh, in everything that they do. I've it, our, in our house or in our household we it has become a common practice that when we need to make big decision um, we have to inquire from God we will have to inquire from the men of God knowing that we will know the direction that we should take and we know that in that we will succeed so I would encourage the viewers that they should come seek for the face of God and their problems will be solved.